Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and I help people find their center. In this video, I'm gonna share with you seven things that you forgot before you were born. Seven things that we agreed to, seven agreements that we made before we were born and we forgot. And this is for star seeds, light workers, rainbow warriors, people of the rainbow tribe, people with ADHD, autism, ADD, special abilities, LGBTQ+, and anyone that resonates to this kind of information. So, before we were born, we made a few agreements to come here on Earth. So, right now on the planet, we're going through something called the Great Awakening. And the Great Awakening is basically the planet Earth, Gaia, is waking up. She is waking up from the inside out. And us as star seeds, us as light workers, in order to help the system, in order to help Gaia with this ascension process, Gaia put out a call during the 40s and 50s when the atomic bomb was going off because that's something that didn't just impact Earth and the dimensions on Earth, it affected many other star systems. And so a call was put out, you can look up content about Dolores Cannon. She did some of these works between the 60s, 70s, 80s, and she did a technique qu called quantum healing hypnosis technique. Quantum healing hypnosis therapy, where she would put people in a deep state of meditation and they all had the same answer. Why did you come here? They came here to help with the shift in consciousness. So she talked about, even on Gaia TV, she has a special called about the splitting of the earth. However, I feel it's a different thing. Anyway, so she put out a call to us star seeds. I'm a star seed, you're a star seed, a light worker, an empath that's here to watch this video. And she put out a call to us in other dimensions and other planes, and we descended down into the earthly plane to help. But the only way to influence that system, the system of earth is being born and influencing it from the inside out. So Earth is going through her own internal processing from the inside out to raise her vibration. So seven agreements that we made before we were born, but we forgot these things is number one, is in order to come and influence the system, we had to come to Earth now and forget who we are. We had to, uh, we made that agreement in higher planes of existence. And we came here and we forgot who we are because that's part of the game. Part of the game is to remember who we are. When you remember, you're reintegrating yourself. You're remembering is to reawaken, remember. You're putting yourself back together, meaning you're awakening to more you, of who you truly are. But in order to do that, Earth has a veil of forgetfulness around her and or it did for a long time and in order to play the game we had and help with this ascension process we had to be born into the system and forget however the younger generations like my niece and nephew kids that are under 10 I would say or even younger babies being born now there really is no veil of forgetfulness and a lot of them remember who they are but us older ones who had to clear the path for these light workers and these rainbow warriors to be born, we had to go through the veil of forgetfulness and basically bust it up from the inside out. So the first thing is we had to forget who we are. We had to be born through the veil of forgetfulness for us older star seeds out there. And we had to forget who we are. So the first thing is we had to forget who we are in order to remember who we are. The second thing is we came here to Earth now to be part of the Great Awakening. That's the second thing. We had to forget who we are in order to play the game and remember. We, the second thing is we came to Earth now to be part of this Great Awakening, the shift in consciousness that's going on right now on the planet. You'll see, we see systems that are falling away. We see things that no longer resonate. Earth was currently at a three 
third dimensional state of being, which is linked to the solar plexus chakra, which is about willpower, desire, law of attraction. And Earth is raising to a fourth density or fourth dimensional state, which is linked to your heart chakra, which is a more divine feminine. And it's more yin, it's more loving, it's more compassionate. So in order to move from that shift, we had to purge the lower states, purge the lower chakras. That's why things are falling apart right now. Things that are out of alignment with that heart-centered integrity of about being best for the collective whole. Things that are businesses, people, that's why things are falling away. Systems are being made to... So we're going through an upgrade like a computer program. So the first thing is that we had to forget to be bored into the system to play the game of awakening and reawakening to remember who we are. The second thing is that we came here for the great awakening to help with this ascension process. The third thing is that we chose to be born. If you're watching this video, you most likely chose to be born into a family or a peer group where you're the only one awake. You're like, you're born into a peer group that's unaware that we're operating from a multi-dimensional state. You may be the only one that looks up star seeds, light workers, empaths. You may be the only one in your family that's awake. And you were like, for example, in my family, in my immediate core family, I was the only one that talks about spiritual awakening. The only one that's into healing arts and open to this kind of information of parallel universes and star seeds and past lives and all this other stuff. So most of you're most likely born into a family of or peer group of unawakened beings. And the purpose of that was so that you can help them to reawaken by you remembering and going through your own awakening process. You most likely had a painful past. I had a painful past, painful childhood, and some really powerful and basically things that felt like for normal people would destroy them. But however, since you're a light worker, a star seed, a rainbow warrior, you're here to help those around you to wake up by going through it first. You're a first waver. You're one of the people that you may feel like you're alone on this journey and that's part of the spiritual awakening process. You most likely had a spiritual awakening at a young age or had some sort of trauma that forced you to go within and to reawaken. And that's how you know you were born into a peer group or family that was unawakened. And you being on your path is helping others to wake up. So. It's really difficult to be on this journey at times. You, like I said, you may feel like you're alone. You may feel like, why is this happening to me? But it happened for you to put you on your path. It, help, it happened for you so that you can remember, so that you can reawaken. You came here, we came here to help influence it from the inside out. Spiritual awakening mirrors the earthly plane in that Gaia is transforming herself, transmuting from the inside out. We can only transmute from the inside out. It doesn't work that way. You can't, I can change my reflection on the outside, but it doesn't do anything. I have to do the inner work and that's to transmute and understand why these things happen for you. Because that's the fourth thing, it should, which is we chose our parents, partners, kids, if you have any, our soul lessons that we wanted to learn, which was I wanted to learn about being transgendered and what that means to balance my polarities. I chose to be incarnated into an unawakened peer group. My parents aren't really awake. My siblings aren't awake. And nobody in my family or even peer group talks about any of this other kind of stuff besides maybe one or two other people. And I'm starting to see people in my life that are resonating with this kind of information. I was pretty hesitant to put out stuff about star seeds, twin flames for a long time out of fear because I was afraid of being judged, that nobody would understand me. And I realized that's part of my path is to share. Part of my path is to help raise the vibration by being bold, by challenging the system, by helping other people to awake. And that the only way I can do that is to speak my truth, 
do my passion, live in integrity. So I picked, I picked to be born into this family where nobody gets it, where I'm like the bright macaw, the bright rainbow bird in a family of pigeons. And I had to go through, in my family, I've gone through the most trauma and it's because I can handle it. You're most likely went through the most trauma. You picked your soul lessons. You picked your parents so that you can help yourself and others to reawaken as a first waiver. So number four about picking our parents, being born into that peer group, being born of your friends, you might be the only type of person that's into starseed stuff, into spiritual awakening, and remember that you chose it. Look at some of the patterns and the lessons in your life. Look at what are some of the core lessons that you're here to learn, which is number five. We came here with our unique soul mission. Every one of you watching this video, every, st every starseed, every light worker had a greater sense of purpose from the time that they were children. I remember, like I said, I knew I was at four years old, I was different. I had abilities. I had psychic abilities and clairaudience and, intu and heightened intuition or whatever. And I realized at a young age and I went through a spiritual awakening even at as, as a child. So what did you go through in your life? But I always had a sense of purpose. I always had a unique sense of mission. I just, I couldn't explain it. I didn't know what it was. I just knew that I was here for something greater than working a just over broke that I hated, a just over broke nine to five job, which I've done and I hated it. And it was miserable and it was soul killing and crushing. So I knew I was here for more than just raising a family, earning a living and dying. And I can tell you that you're here for a unique purpose. You're here for a unique soul mission. And it's most likely linked to helping to raise the frequency on the planet, helping Gaia to go through her own spiritual awakening process. Because it's like this, when you're going through your own process, you're raising your vibration, you can only influence yourself from the inside out. You can tell people all you want about this stuff, but until you actually like are going through it and are on your path, then you'll see people start to be like, oh, what are you doing different? Oh, your energy is amazing, blah, blah, blah. So by you embracing your unique soul mission, whatever that was, whatever that is, you're here for a greater purpose and find out what it's linked to in your heart. What lights your fire? What lights you? What excites you? What, it could be painting, it could be art, it could be sharing videos, it could be massage therapy, it could be being the best mother, it could be being the best parent you can be. It's linked to something that you're gifted with. So it's linked to something about helping to raise the vibration of yourself, of others, of transmuting the lower vibrations and getting to that fourth density consciousness, the heart chakra. So your unique soul mission will help Gaia by you doing your purpose, you doing what you love, will help Gaia to ascend. The more of us that are awakened, the more of us that go within, clear all this trauma, negative energy, transmute it, the more that our light can shine in, Gaia's light can shine in from the inside out. So give yourself permission to do what you love. Find out what your unique soul purpose is. What is your mission? What is your passion? What is your purpose? And number six is we give meaning, we assign meanings to things based on our level of perception. We assign meanings to things based on our vibration, based on which eyes that we're looking through. Our two eyes here are linked to duality. Are you looking through these eyes or through your third eye, which is your soul's eye? And by balancing your masculine and feminine energies to be a neutral being, coming into balance, it's okay to be a man, it's okay to be a woman, it's okay to be non-binary, whichever you resonate with, but balancing your polarities so that you can rise above duality to neutrality because everything is inherently neutral. It's based on our perception, our vibration of where we see things. And are you looking with your physical eyes or with your soul eyes? When you see things from that higher vantage point and realize that we're all connected and what you do to another, the law of vibration brings it right back to you, especially now here in 2020. What 
reframe some of the meanings that you're given to things. Reframe, go back and look at your past. Complete some of the past, feel it, own it. Try to at least, if it's a very negative thing, try to bring it to a positive place at least. Why? Because that renders it neutral. It cancels it out, brings it back to a state of neutrality, and you can clear it. So the point of neutrality is that everything is inherently neutral. It's just based on the meaning and the vibration and what we assign to it. So that's number six. And number seven is we're here to wake up. We're here to wake up from the Maya, which means cosmic illusion, to wake up from the dream. Life is a video game. Here on this planet, reality is not what it seems. We see things in front of us, but what eyes are you looking at? Things didn't happen to you, it happened for you to put you on your path of spiritual awakening. So by remembering who you are, by waking up from the dream, waking up from the illusion of separation, of lack consciousness, that you are not your ego, we are not just these physical bodies. We descended down from higher planes and higher dimensions and we still exist in multiple dimensions, multiple galaxies. We have connections to different star systems. We have connections to different planets. And by reawakening, by awakening from the dream, from the illusion of separation from the matrix, which is what we're doing, and embracing your power, realizing that you have all the power within you. I don't have the power over you. You have the power over you. You are the hero. You are the star of your own movie. You are the creator of your own vibration and your own reality. And once you see how powerful you are, once you remember inside here is where all the power in the universe, the multiverses lies, is the moment that you're set free from the illusion of Maya, the cosmic illusion of separation. So by embracing yourself, by recognizing that, yeah, you've been through some crap, but you're powerful, you're worthy of love. And stepping into your truth is that the best advice I can give you. You're your own guru. Tune into your own vibration and see if what I'm saying resonates with you. Always go within. Always take any piece of information outside of you and sit with it. Integrate it. See what holds true for you and come up with your own conclusions. I'm just here to hold up the mirror back to you. I'm just here to hold up the reflection of truth, which is we are all one. You're a spiritual being, a cosmic, multidimensional being in a physical body, here to awaken, raise the vibration on the planet by doing your unique soul mission. So let's go over the seven things again. The first one is that we were playing the game of forgetfulness. We were born into the system and we had to forget who we are, especially us older beings at a higher level to remember, to re reawaken. Number two, we came here to earth to be a part of the great awakening. Number three, we were born into a family or peer group of unawakened people to wake up first. We went through a lot of trauma because you can handle it. Your soul is most likely advanced, older, and you can handle that load to transmute it. Number four, we chose our parents, we chose our partners, our kids, if you have any, your coworkers even, and your soul lessons that you were here to experience. You had a choice. We chose these things at higher levels. I chose to be transgender. I chose to balance my polarities. I chose to go through these certain lessons and to be one of the first waivers to reawakening. The fifth thing is that your unique soul mission is your higher purpose, your greater self. You're here for the greater purpose linked to, which is number six, to help to raise the vibration on the planet from 3D to 4D and at some point 5D. And number seven is to waking up from the Maya, the cosmic illusion, recognizing you're a multi-dimensional spiritual being having a physical experience because you chose it, because you wanted to, because you know it's fun. Once you realize that this is a game, it's like a video game with different levels based on spiritual awakening, based on like belts in martial arts based on school grades you're only given that which you can handle but we're always given slightly more than what we can handle to bump us up to the next level so 
Remember that you're powerful. You're here for a greater purpose. What are some things that you're passionate about? Did you always know from a young age that you were here for something greater? I guarantee that you, you did. I guarantee you that you were always here called for something more than what you knew. And But we had to go through the process to clear the way, stepping in the shadow, coming out the other side to embrace our light, transmute the darkness that's on this planet to help free Gaia. And tune into more of who you are, meditate, go outside, do what you're passionate for a living, connect to other star seeds. There's other star seeds and light workers and empaths and rainbow light workers and rainbow warriors on this channel, on other channels like this, on Instagram, on YouTube, and you'll connect with your soul tribe and people that resonate with you. So I hope this video helps you. Give it some thumbs up subscribe i'm definitely coming out with more content being bold being authentic being myself i'm right now this is free information i'm not selling a product i'm not selling anything at the moment i have gifts and things that i could sell but that's not what i'm interested in right now what i'm really truly passionate about and interested in right now is helping you to wake up helping you to remember helping you to empower yourself i'm just a guy holding up the mirror you're the hero the warrior the rainbow warrior you're amazing thank you for being here you're awesome i look forward to hearing from you and where you're at on your journey if you have any questions or comments you can check out i have email and other things down below instagram um, you're amazing you're powerful you're here for great things thank you peace and unity